So today's going to be a pretty chill video actually. It's more gonna be a Q&A because I haven't done one in a while and to be honest, you guys had a lot of questions that I felt ready to answer. I have my nice red glass of wine. You may be asking, where's your scotch? Where's your beer? Well, I don't know. I've just been on this red wine kick lately and it's healthier than beer, so why not? <laughs> also, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone who commented questions. I really love the engagement. You guys are awesome. So, cheers. What happened to your black Nike high tops you always wore? I still have them. I just haven't worn them in the past few videos because I'm trying to like switch it musty. So I thought dirty white vans was a much better idea. I don't know, just variety. And I like to be able to say, damn, Daniel. <laughs> so today I am hanging out with the Daily Driven Exotics crew. I actually hung out with them a couple days ago at Tanner Fox's house. <laughs> So they're setting up out there right now for Dave and do donuts around the taxi car. I'm taking a look at Tanner's R35 right now. Wide body wrap. I don't know how much power is done to it. Why convertible on the S13? Um, Vert just happened to be the chassis that Sean had of the S13 at the time. It wasn't something I went out and sought. It was just an opportunity that was proposed to me to build and I loved it. So as you guys know, the next week I bought an engine for it. <laughs> next question. What are your plans for the Subaru build as in a power plant under the hood? Honestly, my plans right now for the Subaru are just to get this car running. I, I'm a little heartbroken and I have a little like PTSD over the flat floor engine with how much uh, trial and tribulations I've been through the car and just really headache. So I just wanna get the car running. I'm just gonna see where that goes. Um, it was recommended to me by Jesse actually to upgrade to the VF37, which is the twin scroll turbo. I may do that. I'd like to do a Cobb access port. Um, I don't know if I want to do front mount intercooler or not yet, but I don't know. I'm thinking about doing some like 15 inch wheels with like fatty tire, but it's also my daily so I don't want the loud freeway noise. I want like comfortability, but I want like all wheel drive fun that I'll still take to the mountains and go snowboarding. Um, I haven't decided yet. I would love to hear your, your thoughts down below or comment on the, on the Patreon page because I've been really good about responding there. For Q&A, what advice do you have for new YouTubers trying to get into making car content? How do I keep things interesting when I don't have a lot of money to spend on mods? You know, I spray paint some LG, LG, LG T4 wheels. <laughs> the advice I would have for YouTubers is know your audience. If you don't have an audience, pick one. Is it going to be Honda, Toyota, Nissan, whatever, trucks, cars, bikes, and stick to a schedule and just consistently upload. Just find what your niche is. Will you get a true Mopar bill started. It's all caps, so I feel like I have to accentuate that. Um, I don't know, maybe. I'm not opposed to it. It's not gonna be the next build, but maybe after that, who knows. Hey Amelia, loving the vlog. Will the Subaru be your new daily when it's finished? That is the plan. That is why I also don't wanna throw some fatty tires on it for, I wanna be comfortable driving it, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that sounded weird. Are you going to turbo the LS? I have no plans to you right now. I have plans for something else. Again, if you follow me on Patreon, you already know what that something else is. And no, but I do have plans for a Turbo LS in the future. I'm not saying it's gonna be the S14. Quality, but I'm with Tanner right now. Uh, G7 quality. What do you mean? I come with a G7. <laughs> oh, there's light. Wait. We're gonna do some pulls in his 900 horsepower R35. Am I gonna drop this camera? Amelia, the rims turned out great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you did an awesome Christmas video last year. Are you going to do one this year? If I have the time to, 
I would love to. Uh, if you have ideas, comment below. Maybe. I'm not opposed to it. Skirt, skirt, what's your next future build? Um, I've hinted at it. Again, I have made an offer on something. I'm just waiting for confirmation whether or not that's going to be it. Simple as that. Any plans for a future drag build? Per particular car in mind, JDM muscle, etc. Hashtag e crew. Uh, yes, actually. I do have plans for a drag build. <laughs> Amelia, when is the next Should I Buy It video coming? Uh, did you guys like the Should I Buy It? Because we weren't going to continue doing them anymore. I felt like they kind of just became a little redundant. Um, and they're also not car reviews, and I think people were thinking that they would be. It's really just Rachel and I driving a bunch of cars, see what we like. Um, let me know if you want me to bring that back, because I can. You know, it's super easy to shoot. But let me know. What are the aims for the S13 when she is running? High power, body kit, maybe full GTR swap with the all-wheel drive system. Now that's that's for thinking. Uh, I'll answer that first. I would love to do the all-wheel drive, but in the near future, I don't think that's going to be the case with the S13. Um, although technically, I hear you if it's supposed to be what Nissan engineers would do uh, for a GTR edition S13. You would think they would make it all-wheel drive but one thing at a time, please. <laughs> In terms of power, I would love to put a conservative 600. And do you have the STI gearbox in your wagon? No, I do not. I'm running the five speed. q and I only discovered your channel this year, so I have a couple questions. What motivated you to start a YouTube channel? What was your day job before YouTubing? Where do you see yourself and the channel in the next five next year, next five years. I would link a video here that kind of does like a, a rough background that I shot when I was in Chicago last year, kind of talking about where I come from and how I got into cars. I started YouTubing because I was broke AF and was working at a restaurant and didn't like it. And I was always working on cars and my mom was like, and a few other people in my life were also like, you should start filming videos of you working on cars. And you know, I finally did it and I was first to market in the consumer's mind and it did well. So here I am, continuing to make videos for you guys who continue to watch them, so thank you for that. So not working a shitty job and doing what I love to do is what motivated me. Where do I see myself in the channel next year? Boy, we gonna hit one mil! We're gonna do about daily views of like 250K to 500K shit. Maybe views will be at a mil. Next five years, I don't know, owning my own production company, having someone else edit these videos for me, although that's more of like a one year goal. I don't know, just building cars, having fun, and you guys know I'm an actor. Um, it's hard to find work in, in LA. This allows me to do what I love and also be in front of the camera at the same time, so just create my own production company and put out my own films while I continue to vlog and work on cars. It sounds like the dream to me. And today, we're gonna go look at a sick R34. I am so excited. And I'm so excited. My mind is running a thousand miles per hour. And today they brought me to a JDM slash Porsche heaven garage. Ours, you're gonna get a kick out of this. There's a Hakusuka GTR, a Skyland GTR up front. There's, they're revving up right now. There's an R34 on that GTM. Fours, you guys. Where have you been my whole life? Random question. But why did you stop vaping? If you don't mind asking, because now I didn't know you did on the Super Build. I hope the electrical issues are resolved so you can get her back on the road again like old times. Thank you. Um, I loved vaping. I used to <laughs> sound like such a douche. I used to vape a lot. Like, I'd hit my tank at 150 watts as a drip tank, and I would go through like a 30 ml bottle every other day. Extreme. I take things to extremes. But. I stopped vaping because I think I'm allergic to PG and it was really weird. A few months into it, I started breaking out along my cheeks, on my chest and my back and it was like really ugly. I'd stop vaping, it'd go away. I'd take one hit off my vape, everything would come back and it was like... I tried vaping again recently, I got a new mod, I got the mods that are like just fillable where you don't trip because that's illegal now and I started breaking out immediately so... It sucks, I like to vape, the drools don't cause me to break up, that I have noticed yet, but I don't own one, 
Right now I'm just kind of staying away from all that. I don't know guys, but maybe I started breaking out because the Subaru wasn't running and I can only vape when I have a Subaru, so who knows? <laughs> Whoa, I just got an update on the Subaru. They're already installing the new harness on the car. You guys, when I left the shop that night, Jesse sent me a video of the dash, the interior, everything stripped out inside of the car, the harness like thrown over the car, everything like he was putting in work. If everything goes good, your car will be ready this coming week. I just got the text message. Ah! <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do? So I got a few more questions here. Actually, a lot more questions. This is from 755. How do you feel about a 2JZ swapped S14 with an S15 front end? I like it. I actually don't think the only 2J I drove was David's Supra, but it wasn't turboed. So I, I would love to drive a super high horsepower 2J, and then I'll give you my opinion. Here's a good one. Why haven't you done heads in a cam in your LS1? Why haven't you crossed over to a standalone ECU such as HP tuners on your LS1? Um, I'm gonna be running a standalone on the S13. Uh, right now, my stock ECU is fine for the S14. Come that time though, I will be probably running a standalone. How many hours do you sleep each night? I don't, I'm gonna assume this isn't like a creepy question, like, like you're legitimately curious. I need sleep, I need a lot of sleep. Um, I also like to sleep in, so I have to force myself not to. Um, I try and go to bed early in order to wake up early, although it's not always the case. I probably get about seven hours of sleep, you know, it could vary, but the less sleep I get, the less functional I am the next day. <laughs> next question. Would you buy a Supra? I would love to own a Supra. Mark IV preferably, but yeah, no, I wouldn't mind it. Maybe Mark III. Yeah. I always thought a Supra was going to be my drag build, but things have changed, and you will find out in the next month. Yeah. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi. I don't like rolls. I like nigiri, like real sushi, and bean and cheese burritos with a lot of raw onions on the side. Look at this. So this car. They're filming in there. I don't interrupt. I don't want to be vlogging, talking over them either. But this is also kind of their vlog. If you guys want to see it, make sure you go to their episode. I'll link in the description below. And you guys will see in a second too. It's kind of funny. He's got an R34 GTR RB26 twin turbo. Doesn't know if it's the ball bearing or the journal bearing, but it's like the S13 on the LMG T4 is white on white. It's so sick. We're going to turn it over in a second. excited for this S13 to start running. I didn't get excited to help put the wheels on and now I'm like really getting excited hearing this turn over. <laughs> Look how huge that is. Such a good deep tone to it. I just want to like kick back sit here like Amelia, keep up the great work. It looks like the Subi's in good hands. I feel it. Don't worry, I'm also socially awkward. Ayo! And for the Q&A at the S13 was to get a color change, what color would you go with? Um, if the S13 got a color change, I feel like I would want to go with, I feel like I would want to do the the Nerd Edition GTR R34 green, the Millennium Jade. Uh, if I did, but I foresee the S13 staying white. Which of the cars you own now would surprise the you from five or six years ago the most? Honestly, just the fact that I have the S14 running and frequently going to the track with an angle kit and a tire sponsor. Thank you, GK Tech, for the angle kit. Uh, and next tires the tires. Just the fact that I'm driving drifting would blow my mind. Cause I would always budget out and think, God, I can't afford this. You know what, no, you know what car surprises me the most that I have right now is the Prius. <laughs> 
Are you going to leave the 5C manual? Are you swapping it for a 6 speed for the Subi? Um, there's a few questions. I'll answer that first. As of now, I'll keep the 5 speed. I'd love to do the 6 speed, but that requires changing, as far as I'm aware, axles, hubs, literally everything of the drivetrain of the car, aside from like driveline. You guys get what I'm saying. Um, so I think it's too much work and not worth the reward. I'll probably stick with the 5 speed, and worst case scenario, I'll just build it out. Have you ever thought of doing autocross? My favorite YouTuber, thank you. Um, I come from autocross. I love autocross. I would love to continue doing autocross. So who knows, maybe I like start autocrossing the Subi, although I don't know how much the transmission would like that. Oh well, I like autocrossing. Yeah, I'd love to start it up again. Maybe I'll start autocrossing the Prius. <laughs> we are almost done with questions. I'm almost done with my glass of wine. I was wondering if you were at all interested to in make your Subaru into a cross tech conversion, even though the 15 started in 2013. Race suspension, winch on a steel bumper off road style. The Subaru will be your everyday driver, it will be more practical, lifted, than lowered. I agree with that. My first and utmost priority has been getting the car running. I still do not have a an entire direction of what I want to do, but I've really been humoring that actually. So if you could somehow send me some photos of a blob eye wagon that has been converted into that. I would love to see photos for inspiration. Please email them to me or message me on Patreon. Send me some photos. I would love the inspiration for it. Have you thought about expanding, growing the channel, doing more builds, more people on, etc.? And what is your day job if there is one? E crew down under. <laughs> I would love to expand the channel with more builds. It's just very expensive. And to be honest, the S13 build has probably been the most expensive, but yeah, I would I would love to do more builds. It's just a cash a cash flow. I just got to figure out my shit first. And my day job, I I get to work on cars full time, you guys. And yes, I make a living off of it. It's not a great living, but as long as you guys keep supporting the channel, I'm able and keep watching. That's the biggest thing. I'm able to continue to work on cars, so thank you, honestly. So something that I wanna show you guys that a lot of people don't understand of why this RB26 swap has been so difficult on a left-hand drive car is because of this. See these two turbos intakes? Imagine the elbows and the downpipes going down. Now try to imagine a steering column that needs to go right through the center of all that. Steering column in there? You can't do that. That's what I'm doing it's with the F13. Oh, you're gonna do a left-hand drive. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's just a nightmare getting everything to fit in there. Those are both dream cars. So, what are five more years before you can even think about I just have to say, thank you for bringing me here. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. I was smiling the it's whole time. It's amazing what you find when you just start to look around, right? Yeah, I never even knew this was here, and to think, I, I'm overwhelmed with how awesome this garage is, and I hope you guys can see that in the video too. And last question, which is kind of perfect with a tie-in of everything that's been going on, is do you plan on doing more content with DD in the next few months? Yes, I do. Those guys are so awesome, and I'm really looking forward to working with them. I plan to start, hopefully, doing a build on their channel. Hear me out. I'm gonna continue doing three days a week on my channel. I'm gonna do one day a week on their channel of a completely separate build. And honestly, I just like hanging out with those guys. They're really good people. So I do plan on working more with them. And it's been really good for me to socialize. <laughs> now maybe I'll be less socially awkward surrounded by people, but no, in, in all honesty, Good vibes, good vibes, good people. Uh, I have an opportunity to work with them that I'm really looking forward to in return. That's only gonna help me produce great content for you guys, so thank you. I didn't finish my wine yet. We're Gucci S13's almost done. S14's getting upgraded and the Subaru's gonna be running. Okay. I guess lastly, before I go, I just wanted to thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I really can't tell you how much I appreciate the love and support. It has been a rough couple of months with views. I haven't voiced it as much as like it runs through my head, but that's just because I want to keep a positive, happy attitude, you know? E-Crew is a family on YouTube where you guys can tune in for 10 minutes, at least a video three times a week, can be a part of a build and a family. And as long as you guys just keep being awesome, you know, we'll have a great time together, so. 
It's crazy how far I've come. I've watched the first video and I seem so awkward, but I'm still awkward, so not much has changed. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out here. Here's a quick clip of the Subaru that I didn't get to put in the last video. As you can see, just about all of it has been stripped. Jesse's taking a lot of, he's working hard to get this done, I'll tell you that. And yeah, good things are coming. Glad we talked. Ikro, we out here with love. Comment we out here if you watch this whole video. Bye. <laughs>